Hey there! Thank you for watching my channel. Today I want to show you a new stitch. It's the bird footprint stitch. And these uh, small things over here looks like a footprint of a bird. I hope you can see it. And there's a, a right side, there's this one, and there's a wrong side of this work, of this crochet pattern. And I just want to show you how you can make this pattern. So I take my yarn and I've got a crochet hook number 4 millimeters. So first of all make a slip stitch. And then make a multiples of 4 chains. And then if you have got uh, the numbers of chains you want and then add 2 more. So make a multiples of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this will be the width of my uh, project for now. I got a multiples of 4 and then add 2 more. 1, 2. So for row 1 skip the first chain and the next chain make a single crochet. Chain 3, skip 1, 2, 3 stitches and in the next one make a single crochet. Chain 3, skip 1, 2, 3 stitches and in the next one make a single crochet. And this is how you continue this for the rest of your row. So chain 3, Skip 3 stitches, to the next one make a single crochet. So chain 3. I've got 4 stitches left, so 1, 2, 3, we are going to skip. And in the last one we are making a single crochet. So this is row 1. Now we are making row 2. Chain 3. Turn your work, then at first stitch make a double crochet. And this chain 3 counts as a double crochet. In that single crochet of row 1 make 3 times a double crochet. So 1, 2 and 3. In the next single crochet of row 1, make 3 times a double crochet. In the next one, make 3 double crochets. So continue this until you have one single crochet left at the end and in that last stitch make two times a double crochet. So one double crochet in the last stitch and the second double crochet in the last stitch. So this is row two. For row three, chain one, turn your work. This first chain doesn't count as a stitch. So in the first stitch make a single crochet, chain 3, and I'll go over to the three double crochets you made in row 2. Then we're making a back post single crochet in the middle double crochet of row 2. So yarn at the back and between the first and the second double crochet put your hook through that uh, that's space and in front of that middle or the second double crochet and between the second and the third double crochet put your hook through the back. So it looks like this. The yarn over, drop a loop, you've got two loops on your hook, 
So yarn over, pull through all two loops. So it looks like this now. Chain three and go over to the next group of three uh, of group of double crochets. So again, make a back post single crochet around that second double crochet of row two. Chain three and again make a back post single crochet around the second double crochet of row two. Chain three. And in the last stitch is the third chain of your chain three when you turn to work, make a single crochet. Okay, all you have to do is repeat row two and three. So I'll show you one more time. Chain three, turn your work. This chain three, three counts as a double crochet. So in this first stitch, make another double crochet. And then in that back post, single crochet over here, this is the stitch, make three times a double crochet. In the next back post single crochet, make three times a double crochet. So three double crochets in one stitch. In the last stitch over here, make two times a double crochet. So you start it with two double crochets at the beginning where the chain three counted as a double crochet. So you are ending this row with two times double crochet two. So chain one, turn your work. In that first stitch, make a single crochet, chain three. And then in the second double crochet, make a back post single crochet, chain three, so in the next group of single, uh, double crochets, make a back post single crochet in the second double crochet chain three and again in a second double crochet the next three double crochets make a back post single crochet chain three then the last stitch over here make your single crochet so just continue this until you are having your pattern as big as you want it so here you see the bird footprint stitch and this is what I wanted to show you. I hope you liked it and if you are making something with it I would love to read what you are making and if you have any questions feel free to ask me them in the comment section below this video and if you do not want to miss any of my new videos subscribe to my channel put on a notification so you get a message when I've uploaded a new video and for now just happy crocheting Bye-bye.